Okay, so I've got a special treat today. I'm here at Rudding Park in Harrogate and I'm going to do the PXG Black Ops Challenge. I'm with Stuart, who's going to take me through the challenge. Stuart, how are you, mate? Yeah, good to meet you, Paul. Very good to see you. How are you? Yeah, I'm very well, thank you. Good. Well, what a setup we've got here. Trackman, the driving range is amazing. This is the office, Paul. <sighs> what we call the office. Well, it's not my office. I wish it was. <laughs> the product looks brilliant. So, firstly, tell me about the challenge, and then we'll have a quick chat about the product, please. So, very simply, what we've done at PXG, we've um, challenged all the drivers that are out there. Um, five of you own against five of mine. Um, and we are very confident that we're going to beat yours either on dispersion or distance, depending on what is the most important to yourself. If you're unfortunate enough to lose the challenge, uh, you get a £100 Amazon venture. Wow, you can't say fairer than that. And I did have a look on the website last night. So far, there's been a 98% success rate for okay. PXG, so you've got to be really confident about the product to put an offer like this out there. I'm just going to put myself up there for probably be shot down that I've done 22 challenges and not lost one yet. So um, <laughs> yeah. don't, be, don't, be, don't be tarnishing my reputation. No, no absolutely yeah. not. So, talk me through... Well, we've got two heads, haven't we? Yeah, so um, the Black Ops is the new driver. Yep. Um, so a little bit of an ethos about PXG is that we don't just bring something out every year. Yep. We only bring it out when the research and development team are happy that it's better than what we had before. So it's not just a case of yep. bringing something out. So the Black Ops, um, so that's the Black Ops head. Um, very simply, over the Gen 6, which was a great driver. Yep. We, what we've done is we've sort of advanced it a little bit and tried to make something uh, that's a more forgiving. So. For quite a long time now, probably 10 or 15 years, drivers have had carbon heads. Yep. We always used to call them titanium woods, but they're now carbon because it's lighter. What we've done with this driver is we've taken some titanium at the bottom, replaced it with carbon, it makes it lighter. That allows us to put more weight around the edge, yep. more forgiving. So more stability as yeah, well, I guess. more as well. stability as well, uh, more forgiving, which is what we all want. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, we've come up with a new face, AMF face. Yep. What that does is two things. It increases ball speed, but it also increases off centre hits. So... What we're finding is if you'd hit it, let's say you carried it 220, 230, off centre that might drop under 200, yep. the drop off is not as much. Wow, so that's, that's, real, that's it, really good. Yeah, yeah. So distortion's better, average is better, which is why we've done the challenge. And that's um, going to appeal to all, all, all kind of exactly golfers, isn't it? Yeah. Right. And, and to be honest with you, the, what we've found in the US is that a lot of the tour players that are trying the head are actually going for the standard head rather than really? the tour. Yeah. Um, not a lot of golfers know this, but there's three different ways to to um, launch a golf ball, medium, low, yeah. high. Okay. Then after that, you've got medium, low, high spin. Yeah. The way you get the optimal distance is high launch with low spin. Yeah. Obviously, can't be too high, spin can't be too low, but when you get those two things together, yeah. that's when you get the maximum carry and the maximum roll. This head is high launch, low spin. Well, it looks beautiful. I have had two or three PXG drivers in the past. This is the point where if my wife's watching, Rachel's gonna start cringing. That is a really pretty thing. And we're starting to see PXG Tour Pros win nearly every week. I mean, there was the 57 yeah. the other week as well, wasn't yeah. it? Which was amazing. Yeah, so that was a guy, he actually had a putt for 56 from about six feet and missed it. So yeah, <laughs> so that was the 57 was on tour. Yep. Um, Nap won on the US Tour a couple yep. weeks ago. Luke List is doing yep. very well. Uh, Cole was in um, was in this uh, the the Hawaii yep. open, open season opening competition. So yeah, and, and then we've also got Celine Boutier who's- And on the ladies tour as well, yeah. the world yeah. number one last yep. weekend. Fantastic. Which been amazing for us. Um, and then we've got the tour head, slightly yep. different. Yep. So it's a different profile. It's yep. not as big from front to back. Sure. And it's also a deeper face. Oh yeah. This is low launch, low spin. Yep. So for someone that really spins, it's got lots of speed, yep. but spins the ball too high, we whack you in this head. What we've done with this yep. on the back, I don't know if you can see, we've actually brought the weights in, yep. which was where the forgiveness goes. Ah, interesting, yeah. So we've brought the weights, rather than being at the edge a little bit close to the middle yep. of the face, that's where you, having the weight at the edges is where you get your forgiveness. Got you. So on both heads, just to tell you about yep. the weights, we've gone two and a half gram in the yep. end of the toe yep. and 12 and a half in the back. During the fitting, that's when we can move those about sure, yep. to bring the yep. face open and closed. And yep. then also we go through all the shaft matrix that we've got Great. Out, so we oh, work on loft as Perfect. Well. So we've got the tall head on this side. You see the slightly deeper face. Really interesting on the sole. You see how the, the weights on this one? A little bit better. You see how the weights on this one are a bit closer together? Okay, so I think that's enough talking. We need to get this challenge on, buddy. Okay. Let's do it. Let's do it. So we're going to start today with five shots from my Gamer, which is my Ping G430 LST. May the best club win. Oh, well, that one won't be winning anything. Oh, that's a bit slow. This could be a short episode, Stuart. I got a bit lucky. 
Oh, jeez, that's not what you want to see out on the course, that one, is it? Bit of redemption at the end there, Stuart. Yeah, that's not fair, isn't it? So what we're going to do, we're going to have a look at the five shots that you just hit. Yeah. Okay. So what we're going to start off with, let's start off with the good stuff. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> There's some good stuff. Yes, we won't we won't chastise you straight away. Okay, cheers, mate. So 96 <laughs> miles an hour. Yep. Lots of speed. Yep. Okay, so you're banging in the middle of stiff shaft. Yep. So we've got a stiff shaft in the driver, that's great. Yep. Angle of attack. These are the average yeah, figures yeah, along the bottom yeah, there. Sure. So average angle of attack is on the up, which yep. is great. Yep. I've just started using the orange tees actually. Now those pink castle tees. Yes. I've just gone for the orange ones a bit higher. Yep. I was finding I, I felt I was hitting it a bit low on the face. So 141 ball speed, good. Yep, yep. Spin 3.5, we'll have a look at that in yep. a sec. That's the average, yep. so that's actually in feet. In Trapman, that's in feet. So yep. 48 feet right of target. Ooh, blimey. Which is, it sounds a lot, but it's probably 20 yards. Yep. It's a little bit less than 20 yards. Um, club path, we'll talk about club path in a second, yep. and then face angle. Average in 182. Let's have a look at dispersion. Yep. So dispersion figures on there. Yeah. We hit one really cool. That was the first one, wasn't it? Yeah. yeah. So, so this is carry. Okay, yep. so we're averaging just underneath the... Yep. The 200 carry, everything's quite a bit right of yep. target. Yep. Um, we're going to use optimizer. So okay, very yep. simply, what optimizer does on Trapman is it takes the way that you deliver the club yep. to the ball. So the speed, the angle, yep. the face angle, and it says, right, Paul, if you were hitting this perfectly yep. with a launch and spin, this is how far you would hit the ball. So it gives us an insight as to where we're losing out. Yep. So let's have a look at our five shots. First shot, yep. launch angle good, but if you see there, yep. carry 205, you should have carried that 233. Yep. So you've lost 28 yards. Wow. There. This is no not off, this is no just distance yep. now. So we've lost 28 yards. That's the glaring, yep. that's the glaring one. That's not anywhere near the blue, it's spinning yep. at 5,000. Yep. Is that something that's that launch a little bit low, yep. spinning at 4,000. Always spinning too much. Yeah, yep. we'll okay. Ignore that one. The last one which hit really well, still spinning too I think much. what we're going to do, we're going to have a look at the table again. Yeah. So what is the most important thing to you about driving? Is it dispersion or is it Yeah, dispersion. Dispersion. So we're going to take that one out that you, that you missed completely, which is the yep. short one, yeah? Yeah. And then we're also going to take, we've got two that are quite a long way right, so we'll take the furthest yep. one out. So that leaves us with that. Yeah. So we're 20 feet... 24 feet right at target, averaging um, yep. 213 in carry. Okay, yep. So let's have a look at the Black Ops. Yep. So as we talked about before, this is the new technology. Yep. So better ball speed, yep. just straight off the bat, yep. we can deliver that with the same uh, club head speed, we'll have better ball speed. Dispersion off centre hits a lot better. We're just going to put you in um, a Mitsubishi Tensai 65 yep. gram S Flex, yep. 9 degree, virtually the same as your own. Okay. So just let you have a go at it. Okay, first. great, perfect. Okay. Thank you. Aha, uh -huh. okay, Stuart, just noticed something straight away. It's not a matte finish on the driver crown. Correct. Yeah, yeah. So for the first time PXG we've gone to a gloss finish. Yep. Um, getting a lot of good reports, it seems to be um, very, yeah, very pretty looking driver. It is, I like that. I like the way when PXG had this on the Gen 2, I think these lines going around the edge, I think that's really helpful for lining up the club. Okay, that is a beauty. It just looks to have. I think because of the design, it just looks to have more loft on it. It's I like the sort of angle of the face. I like the black line at the front as well. Yeah. It's quite confidence inspiring. Let's see what I can do with it. I'm a big fan of Jack Nicholas's courses because they're all dog leg rights. <laughs> that was better. Still quite a bit of left to right going on, but that felt nice. I like the flight on these. I think it's so important to be in a bay where you can actually eyeball it outside rather than just yeah. seeing it on the screen. I mean, obviously I've got a, a draw bias on my current driver with the weighting. I know you said we can play around with the weights later. Can we do that to sort of yeah. counter for that a little we, bit? What we generally do yeah. is we generally go shaft, yeah. engine room of the club, of course. loft, 
Yeah. Because that that takes that does a launch angle and then then the other way Beautiful. Glass, which brings the dispersion in. Beautiful. If I can beat you yeah. with the first drive, I'll put it to your hand there. Yeah, I bet you are. Oh, that's high right. It's not as wide though, is it? So, something that's really interesting straight away, yeah. and it was something that was a little bit of a concern of mine yeah. with, with, your, own, with yeah. your own driver, is we've jumped up to nearly 100 miles an hour at uh, yeah. cupboard speed. Yeah. So we've gone to up to 98 miles an yeah. hour, but we're technically in the same weight of shaft and same stiffness. Yeah. I just think your, your game drive is a little bit heavy. Yeah. Um, angle of attack, similar. Yeah. Ball speeds similar. Yeah. Actually, a couple of them were quite high. Yeah. High one forty fours. Yeah, nice. So I've taken out. I've actually kept in the yeah. lowest one, which if I change that, um, your ball speed's really good. Yeah. But the reason I've, I've kept those three is because they're the straightest ones. Yeah. So we're, average, we're averaging twenty seven yards. So if I point at yeah. this figure yeah. here, yeah. What that figure is there is a plus or minus figure. Yeah. The way that works with Trackman is that's the average you're yeah. going to hit it. Yeah when you stand over the ball. Sure. So you stand behind the ball, you're going to hit a driving out with the Black Ops, you're averaging 27 feet yeah. left or right of yeah. target. Yeah. With your own, yeah. it was 61 feet. Oh, wow. So we've virtually halved it. Yeah. So if we look at that figure there, yeah. that figure there, 61 feet. So with your own, yeah. you stand there and you're going to average. Yeah. So we're not actually sure which way it's going to go because a golf yeah. ball can go left or right. Sure, but yeah. You're averaging 61 feet. Yeah. So that's 120 feet across. Whereas the first three with the black ops, yeah. we've gone to 27 feet. Wow. So that's 54 feet across, which yeah. we, so we're basically we've half yeah. your dispersion. Yeah. So straight away, yeah. with just building a black ops that's yeah. similar to your own, we've not lost any distance, yeah. and we've halved your dispersion yeah. straight away. Yeah. I didn't want an Amazon voucher anyway. You're not getting an Amazon <laughs> voucher anyway. <laughs> so in regards to black yeah. ops challenge, yeah. we've beat you with the first, yeah. with the first one I've put yeah. you in. Yeah. But I don't even think that's the best driver yeah, for you. Yeah. I think we can now have a look at making that even better. Yeah. So we actually build a driver that suits yourself. Awesome, let's do it. Okay. PXG has always been very good about that with the movable weights, haven't they, the technology you guys have got? Yeah, it sort of takes it that extra yeah. extra distance, yeah. extra length that we go to in our fitting. A lot of a lot of companies can have got access to shaft. Sure. A lot of companies can do lift at loft. Yeah. But then what can you do with the face? Yeah. So what we're going to do to try and bring the spin down... Yeah. One of the things you do to bring spin down is you take weight out the back. So okay. we've got a 12 and a half gram in the back. Yeah. We're going to take that out. Yeah. You pop that in your hand and you can feel how heavy it is. Oh yeah. And we're going to swap it with the two and a half in the heel. Yeah. Okay. That's going to slow the heel down. Yeah. And make the toe go a little bit faster. Pop that in your other hand. Can't feel that at all, can you? Yeah. But when you're swinging at 95 miles an hour. Of course. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So the theory behind this is we just make the toe go a little bit faster, yep. so it doesn't open. Yep. So it go. It, so the relationship between face and path is yep. a little bit better, yep. and then we get a fade rather than a cut. Got it. You hit it good. Yep. But we want to get rid of those 100 yards right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. And here's the beauty about PXG, is that if you work on yep. this and you yep. get that path better. Yeah. You can then just swap these back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So if you get your path down to two degrees, yeah. And now I'm cutting it now, Stuart. Right, we'll just swap the, we'll swap yeah, the weights back. Great. And I guess the beauty of having you here as well is you can always pop over a quick 15 minutes, bit of a fine tune, away you go. We push yeah, yeah. big yeah. PXG push custom fit. Yeah. But there are customers that want to buy clubs off the shelf, which they can do. Yeah, you yeah. can buy them off the website, yeah. no problem. If you do, yeah. or you do an over the fold fitting yeah. with the. Uh, Daniel and Elliot, yeah. who are out in yeah. internal sales, you can book a half hour spec check. Perfect. That's a lower ball. Flight. Yeah, it's certainly low, isn't it? Lower yeah. Ball flight. Oh, my word. Wow. Wow. What well, has that been all my life? Hit a good one, then go after the next one, eh? Do you see that all the time? Yes. <laughs> what we talked about before about yeah. the drop off. Yeah. 
So even though you don't probably don't feel like you're hitting it as good as you can, yep. the carries on the last ones have been 217, 200, 219, 195, yep. 270, 211, 212, 211, 197. Yep. They're just consistently yep. further. Yep. Or even yeah, further yeah. than your own. Yeah. Um, which is quite interesting. I, I still want to get the spin down. Okay. The club head speed is definitely up. Yeah. We're going to have a little play about now. Okay. Okay. So we're going to go tour head for this one. Okay, yeah. And then what I'm going to try you in, I want to try you in a regular shaft. Yeah. This is the Aldila Rogue Blue. Okay. The profile of this shaft is anybody that slices a golf ball, put them in this. Oh, really? The reason being. <laughs> Why did I meet you 30 years ago? The reason being, it's really soft in the tip. Yeah. So it's made at the bottom of your golf swing, it's just going to kick in and, and straighten it. up for you. Lovely. It. Okay. So we're going to try you in the tour head. Yep. Okay. A little bit lower ball flight, yep. a little bit lower uh, launch angle. Launch is, we may have to go to 10 degrees. Yeah. This, but, um, so I think I do hit it quite high, don't I? And I guess that's going to put this, put that going to be quite spinny. As soon as you hit yeah. a golf ball um, with a club path that you have, you're going to spin it. Yep. You just, you just are. Yep. The way you deliver the golf club to the ball, which is generally about zero zero yep. launch angle, is always going to spin a yep. golf ball more. So we're going to try the tour head now. That is a pretty thing. Look at that for completely different. Yeah, right. yeah, absolutely. So we've got low launch, yep. low spin, and we've got all the way to the heel. That's yep. the first one that you've hit like that, yep. which is good, because okay. I want it to come more that way. Okay. Not high and yeah, and I like it starting on, on that line more. Oh, a bit high off the face, that one. And of course, you're not just doing driver fittings, you've got all your irons, hybrids, fairways. Wedges, putters, full bag, everything. Yep, nice. Look at all these shafts you've got to go out here, guys. 11 bags. 11 bags. Do you have to carry them all up here yourself? Yes. Oh. Keep your fit. Ten and a half. Yep. Head. Yep. Cool. Not quite as much weight in the heel, but the yep. weight in the heel still. Is that a golf shot? It just fell from about there on the backswing. I knew I was going to nail it. That's just landed in Harrogate. 233 carry, 254 yeah. in total. Yeah. Look at that. The shaft is just so much easier for me. I'm not fighting it, I'm we not having to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yes, it's regular. Yeah. So what? I don't care. When yeah. you've hit it down the middle, you don't have to turn to everybody yeah. and say, I've just hit a regular shaft, yeah. does that count? Yeah. You've hit two there. Yeah. That are eight degrees club path. Yeah. Face angle four, half. Yeah. yeah. Those are almost identical, those two shots. And I like that shape. I do want to play that that little fade. I, I like that. That's one foot left. Yeah. One one foot nine inch. That's that far. Yeah. Left of target from landing at two hundred and thirty two yards away. We're next two fifty four. Yeah. That's a golf. Yeah. Shot. And you're happy with the, the landing angle and everything? Land angle is fantastic. Great. Awesome. Look at smash factor. Wow. Wow. Now this is really interesting. Yeah. So what we're going to look at here is we've gone to the tour head, ten and a half degree, with the Aldi Le Blue sixty five reg. And your smash factor has jumped up to averaging 1.47. Wow. 1.5 is perfect. Yeah. So you'd, you're delivering the club face so much squarer than yeah. you have been. If you look down here, it's 1.39. Yeah, yeah. When we had the stiff shaft in. So the Aldila Blue, as we talked about, with it being a little bit softer in the tip near the head, it's just closing for us. Yeah. And it's bringing that. That's so much more efficient. Yeah. And that's what we want in golf. We want efficiency. Yeah. I think that's fantastic. <laughs> So we'll do best three versus best three. Yep. Four mile an hour quicker with the club speed. Yep. So the club head's going four miles an hour quicker. Ball speed's four, three, three yep. just over three quicker. Yep. Spins down. Yeah, nice. Distance, 15 yards. Yep. And then the average yep. was 
61 feet yeah. left and right compared to 26 feet. So we've wow. halved that still. And then your total carry distance, total total distance run out was 230 compared to 248. So we've averaged, we've got you 15 yards further. Yeah. We've got you 18 yards in total. Yeah. And we've half the dis dispersion. Wow. So when you talk about a fitting, yeah. and we look at dispersion on the screen, that's your carry dispersion. Oh my word. Your own is white. The black box tore. This is me in this white space here. This is the, and we've done that in like 20 minutes. That's incredible. And there's your total distance as well. Wow. So not only is it going further, it's yeah. then running out a little bit further so when much, it lands. So as much well. tighter. Yeah. But you, if if you can get uh, if you can get a customer to hit it further, yeah, and hit yeah. it better, closer yeah. to the target. Yeah. Tick more well, we said dispersion was what I was looking for, really. We've got the distance so we've as well. Got dispersion, but we've yeah. then actually got you hitting it nearly yeah. 20 yards further in total, which wow. is fantastic. So, what we've ended up with is yep. 65 gram, same weight. Yep. Just regular shaft. As we've talked about before, the difference between regular is not much. Yep. Okay. The the thing about the Aldila Blue, it's a little bit softer in the tip, closes the club face, which is what you yep. want. We've ended up in the tore head, ten and a half degree, yep. just set at ten and a half, but then we've flipped these two weights around. Yep. So we've got um, twelve and a half in the heel, yep. two and a half in the back. And then that's yep. where we've ended up yep. with that much much better distance and much better ball flight and much much better. I spin. Was, it was I mean the numbers speak for itself, you can't argue with the science. It's a beautiful looking club. The shaft felt the most comfortable to yes. swing. Some shafts I feel they're swinging me, if you know what I mean. I think that's because they're too stiff. I think we talked about yeah, it yeah, before, yeah, didn't we? Yeah. I think for, for a lot of amateurs and even even yeah, professionals, yeah. you need you need help from your golf yeah. club. And with yours, I don't think you're getting very Just feels help. a bit too hard work. The shaft when I picked it up early on in the fitting, the shaft feels very stiff yep. and does actually feel quite heavy. Yep. Since it's supposed to be 65 yep. gram, it does feel really heavy. You're getting a lot of help from this yep. shaft, especially the way that we hit the ball to begin with. Yep. It's just bringing that ball flat straighter. The tour head brings the spin down for you. Ten and a half gets it lofted. Yep. So as we spoke about before, loft it in the air, spin it low, and then we've got the results as we've seen, averaging you know, 250 in total. That's that, nearly 20 yards further than you Absolutely, were. that's really interesting. It does show the absolute importance of getting a fitting. Can we see an expert like Stuart? PXG do fittings all over the country. Stuart looks after the north. Great facility here at Harrogate as well, which is quite easy to get to off the A1. I still go have a conversation with Rachel now. Stuart, thank you so much. Thank you, Paul. Good to meet you. Thank you, you beat me on the challenge, but well done. But what a, what a product. Look at that, guys. Guys, I really hope you enjoyed that episode. If you did, give it a like. If you loved it, tell your mates and give a subscribe. And we'll see you next time on The Golf Show. I hope you enjoyed the episode of The Golf Show. To watch another, click here. To subscribe, click here.